The Interactive Science Lab is a virtual lab created within Second Life which allows middle school science students to learn content through three different virtual experiments. This lab lets the students easily conduct experiments without the hassles and limitations that a real-world lab presents. First, you will see how the ready experiment is conducted. All experiments in the lab use a HUD, which is located in the upper left-hand corner of the screen. The HUD is used to display directions, control the experiments, and to provide multiple choice questions through an easy-to-use interface. The Ready experiment was first conducted by Francesco Ready to disprove spontaneous generation by having flies lay eggs to form maggots on raw meat in jars. This module will take the students through the steps of the Ready experiment and explain the process that Ready used in conducting it. The experiment consists of three jars with meat in them. One of them sealed, one covered with netting, and one left open. The flies fly around and lay eggs on all jars but the closed one, and then maggots will form. The students will then play a mini game of cleaning up the maggots by clicking on them to make them disappear. This experiment is very appropriate for Second Life since a teacher would not be able to perform the experiment in the classroom. The second experiment is the sugar and water solubility experiment. Pre and post test questions are built into the HUD to evaluate student knowledge. In this experiment, the student's score in the game depends on how well they conduct the experiment, which helps teach the concepts of the scientific method as they play. After finishing the question, students will conduct the experiment by first pouring sugar into a measuring cup. The sugar is then placed into water and timed for three cups with different temperature water. The students need to consistently use the same amount of sugar in each cup for good results in their experiment and for a better score in the game. The fruit fly genetics experiment allows the students to conduct an experiment using fruit flies to observe the passing of traits to future generations. First, this experiment has the students select four different colors to be used as dominant and recessive traits for the fruit fly's body and eyes. The offspring created from these choices contain traits which have been dynamically created according to the traits of the parents. While conducting the experiment, the students will inspect the offspring in order to count the number of fruit flies that received each trait. Then the HUD will display a graph of the fruit flies for each gene of the offspring. Students will use the information in this experiment to fill in a worksheet of the data produced. Conducting a simulated experiment such as this within a game is easier than doing the experiment within the classroom. The Interactive Science Lab gives students a way to learn which is more fun and engaging since it is done in a virtual world.